So today we are going to discuss the genetic control of protein synthesis. How the genes control the synthesis of protein or the genetic control of protein synthesis. In the last few lectures, we have discussed that the cell has a lot of organelles like nucleus surrounded by endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus, vacuoles, peroxisomes, etc. etc. And we discussed that most of the proteins, most of the proteins are formed in the endoplasmic reticulum through ribosomes and then they are transferred to Golgi apparatus where they are packaged in the form of vesicles and then they have uh, specific functions. But the signal for the formation of protein, it comes from the nucleus. But how exactly, how exactly the nucleus is controlling the formation of proteins? How the signal is coming from the nucleus to the endoplasmic reticulum, how it is converted into proteins. So we are going to start a new series of lecture in which we will discuss this topic. For this, we initially need to know that inside the nucleus, inside the nucleus, we have chromosomes. Fixed number of chromosomes. There are about 23 pairs of uh, human chromosomes. The chromosomes are composed of DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid and some other proteins. The basic component, the basic hereditary material or the basic, uh, um, the basic functions of uh, uh, the basic, uh, the signals for the protein formation are coming from actually from the DNA. DNA is woven into the chromosomes and it keeps on changing, it keeps on dividing, it keeps on forming uh, new DNA and as the cells are dividing, the chromosomes are dividing and new DNA is being formed. So today we are going to discuss the basic structure of DNA and in the coming videos we will uh, see how the DNA functions to in the formation of proteins, how it, uh, uh, it forms how it sends a signal and how the signal is converted into a protein and how they function. So let's start our lecture from the DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. It is the main hereditary material which uh, transfers the uh, hereditary material or the uh, characteristics from parents to offspring, from parents to children. But apart from that, DNA is also helping in the formation of proteins. But what exactly is DNA made of? There are just three important components. One is phosphoric acid, which is denoted here by P. Another is sugar or deoxyribose sugar, which is being uh, denoted by D here. And there are four nitrogenous bases. The four nitrogenous bases are divided into two groups. Uh, one group is purines which consist of adenine and guanine and the second group is pyrimidines they consist of thymine and cytosine as it is dna so the sugar the sugar in the dna is deoxy or it is uh, deficient in oxygen so it is deoxyribose if it is not deficient in oxygen then it is rna structure of RNA is similar to the DNA but the only difference is that the thymine or this one uh, nucleot uh, nitrogenous base has been uh, uh, has been replaced by another uh, base known as uracil. So inside the human cell in the nucleus DNA is present in the chromatin uh, in the chromosomes 
and there are just three important molecules which is forming the base base uh, basic structure of the dna and those three important molecules are phosphoric acid sugar or the deoxyribose sugar and one of the nitrogenous base the easiest way to remember or the mnemonic to remember the uh, nitrogenous base is uh, pure as gold purines adenine guanine pure as gold and to remember the pyrimidines the mnemonic is pyramids of turkey and cairo pyramids pyrimidines turkey and cairo so pure as gold pyram uh, pyramids of turkey and cairo these are the basic structures of uh, dna but the two the two molecules the phosphoric acid and the uh, the deoxyribose sugar they are forming the strands of the dna they are basically forming forming the backbone of the dna and the dna is for, uh, present in a helical structure it is one helix or one component like ladder and the other will be present like uh, it will be woven like a helix i have just simplified it here there are two two helix which are present uh, in front of each other their backbones is formed by the sugar and phosphoric acid and these are connected with each other these are connected with each other with the help of nitrogenous bases which we have discussed over here so basically there are four nitrogenous bases one of them will be purine and the other will be pyrimidine if on one helix there is a purine the other the the other base on the other helix will be a pyrimidine so you see this is cytosine for c and it is bonded with guanine on the other helix similarly if it is guanine or here it will be bonded with cytosine guanine cannot bind or it cannot form a bond with the thymine similarly adenine cannot or a cannot uh, form a bond with the cytosine the bonding between uh, of adenine is with thymine these are hydrogen bondings there are just two hydrogen bonds between adenine and thymine while there are three uh, hydrogen bonds between guanine and cytosine this is the very basic structure of dna it consists of three main molecules a phosphoric acid a sugar and a base a an acid a sugar and a base but depending upon the combination depending upon the combination of bases that which base is attached with the sugar we have main mainly four nucleotides four nucleotides so the the building block of a dna is basically a nitrogen uh, a nucleotide so a phosphoric acid a sugar and a base will form one nucleotide a phosphoric acid a, a sugar and a base will form another nucleotide similarly this base this sugar and this phosphoric acid will form another nucleotide this will form another nucleotide this uh, sugar phosphoric acid and base will form another so basically there are four different types of nucleotides that are formed depending upon the type of base the type of base which is present or which is attached with the sugar so the nucleotide it is a combination of one molecule of phosphoric acid one molecule of sugar and one of the four bases if uh, adenine if adenine is present if adenine is present or you can see here a if adenine is attached with the sugar and phosphoric acid then the nucleotide is known as deoxyadenylic acid if thymine is attached with the sugar then the nucleotide is known as deoxythymidylic acid if 
guanine is attached if guanine is attached with the sugar or guanine is attached with the sugar and phosphoric acid then it is known as a deoxyguanilic acid and if cytosine cytosine is attached with the sugar and phosphoric acid then the nucleotide is known as deoxy uh, cytidylic acid so it was a very simple topic the cells are uh, basically having uh, uh, organelles the functions of organelles are uh, controlled by the nucleus nucleus is made of chromosomes which are basically uh, composed of dna and molecules the dna is the basic material and it is like the king of uh, the nucleus which is uh, sending all the messages it is not only controlling the hereditary process but it is also controlling the formation of proteins proteins are further maybe structural proteins or functional protein but basically the the signal for their formation is coming from the dna so what dna is made of dna is made of a phosphoric acid a sugar and a nitrogenous bases nitrogenous bases are of two types purines or pyrimidines purines are adenine and guanine pure as gold and pyrimidines are thymine and cytosine or pyramids of turkey and cairo so the base and the sugar the base uh, the phosphoric acid and the uh, sugar they are forming the ladder or the backbone they are forming the backbone of the uh, they are forming the backbone of the dna so this is basically the backbone two helices is two helices are present in front of each other the backbone is formed by the acid and the sugar while the bases are attached they are just attached with each other a uh, base of one helix is will be attached with the base of another but a purine will always be attached with a pyrimidine uh, and uh, the and adenine will always uh, bond with uh, thymine and cytosine will always bond with guanine and depending upon the type of uh, new uh, nitrogenous bases there we have four types of nucleotide nucleotides so a nucleotide basically is composed of uh, a mo one molecule of one molecule of phosphoric acid one molecule of sugar and one one of the base so if it contains the adenine it is oxy uh, deoxy adenylic acid for thymine it is a deoxy thymidylic acid for uh, guanine it is deoxy guanylic acid and for cytidine uh, it is deoxy cytidylic acid in the next lecture we will discuss how this structure of dna is helping in sending the messages and how the messages are decoded inside the cytoplasm to form protein hope you have learned this topic thanks a lot for watching this video